Honorable, honorable member, order. Your heckling is becoming disruptive. Order. Thank you, Proceed, uh, Honorable Trawama. Thank you, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, honorable President, former Minister of Communication Faith Mutambi and Mr. Claudio Mutzoni have left SABC in Tartars. And it is believed that they enjoy your company. Why are you always associated with incompetent or corrupt characters? When are you going to fire Minister uh, Faith Mutambi? Honorable President. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <clears throat> I'm not um, firing uh, Minister Mutambi. I've not taken that decision. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker. Yes, Honorable Gadi. You have a minister who leaked cabinet memos here in terms of the Gupta. Honorable leads. member, what you have is got a, 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 a Ubaba last saying is not going to. The Honorable member. The question Honorable says, member, the what rules are the reasons for his that. delay to, to sign a proclamation? He must answer that question. Honorable and member. And the next no. question is, why he didn't fire Honorable that member, minister there? The President has responded to that question. Uh, now uh, now he take has your seat now. He has not replied and given answer. Take There's a seat. difference between response and giving an answer. Take and he's seat. going to give an answer here. You are going to give an, an answer, Baba. Speaker, <laughs> just wait. Just wait. So huh, chill. Huh. Honorable member, you are being disruptive now. Take your we seat. We are not disruptive. No, you take your are seat. Disruptive. You take are your seat, disrupting honorable member. the house. You are disrupting the house, Speaker. You are, the speaker, stop disrupting the you, are, you are challenging the chair and that's out of order. Don't do that. Honorable Don't member, do that, Deputy Speaker. We are going to request you because you are uh, that is not, not honorable that is member. That's not going to happen, Deputy Speaker. I've asked, you, I've asked you to take your seat. Yeah. I now ask you again to take your seat so that this Deputy procedure can speaker. proceed. Honorable members, your conduct Give is now not only interrupting Mr. Zuma with the actually ability the of question. the House to proceed, no ways. but you are also disregarding the authority of the Chair. And if you do not take your seat, I will have to ask you to leave the Chamber. Deputy Speaker, with due respect, Honorable shall, member, I shall take my seat, but you definitely member, have a responsibility. Honorable member, take you have your a seat. constitutional responsibility, Deputy Speaker. Honorable members, I now ask uh, the... Uh, Deputy Sergeant Speaker, no, uh, uh, no, 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 Deputy Speaker, uh, stop with those semantics of yours. Nobody is going to live here on the basis that a president does not want to answer questions. He must leave. Honorable not anybody in the house. Honorable member. We are insistent. We've been here. We are wanting answers. He doesn't answer. Honorable then you instruct honorable members to leave the house. How can that be? Honorable Ndlozi, nobody asked you to speak. You were yeah, recognized. Nobody has to. The you people are, of South Africa are, ask me honorable to. Honorable member. I don't speak on you, your permission. You, are you, don't, you don't have to ask me to speak. You are You don't disruptive. have to ask me to speak. I'm challenging honorable your member, ruling. I also honorable you Deputy now, Speaker. If you do you not can't your chase speech. members of the House out no, on the basis member, of demanding answers you, from Obabaga to you Then you are rendering Gadi, this session useless. Honorable members. We are seized with I the person who enough, is not answering and questions. And you are saying we must stay here for none answers. Sergeant Why must Arms, I leave the house? Please approach the Why must I leave the house? Honorable Deputy Speaker. Honorable Gadi and Honorable Lozi. But Speaker. why must I leave the yep. house? Honorable Consistently Deputy refuse to obey the rulings of the chair. I now ask you to approach them and request them. You are defending a criminal of note. Yes. Against honorable member, honorable, yes. honorable you Malema. are defending a criminal. You are also speaking, against, disobeying the request against honorable only members when you who are, are doing their job. Honorable member, they are here doing their job, executing a mandate given to them Sergeant by South Arms, Africa. I have requested you to approach the members, please uh, help them. Honorable please. Deputy Speaker, you cannot defend a number one criminal. I am At the expense of the Constitution, honorable members, I am holding a criminal the rules of the House. This institution must be conducted you are properly. A criminal. Nobody asked you to. He speak. must be held accountable, and that's what we are doing here. 
That's what we are doing here. That's what we are elected to do. If we are now you came here for salary only. We didn't come here for salary only. Honorable oh. members, I'm now Call speaking those of the people mics. to come and... Honorable members, I have warned you. I have asked those members approach to leave the house. Honorable members, kindly leave the house as requested. Members that were told. Honorable Malema, I requested you not to speak when you are not recognized. I requested you to do that. Honorable, honorable members, honorable members, I request you to leave the house. Honorable Malema, Honorable Gadi, Honorable Ndrozi, I have pointed out to you. Honorable member, Honorable members, kindly leave. Yeah. Honor All of you members who are on your feet, I have requested you, you are being disruptive. You are not meant to do that. We will now request the protection services to help, to help uh, the sergeant at arms. All the honorable members. Order, honorable members, order. Order, honorable members, order. Honorable members, please be in order. We must now proceed with the business of the House. Order, honorable members. <laughs> uh, so guys, uh, sometimes I find it so funny and entertaining when I watch the Parliament of South Africa. I don't know whether this is an example of parliaments that we have in Africa, or is there something wrong with the parliament of South Africa? Okay, okay, this video, to be said, this video is an old video, but uh, it makes some sense. It has a very, very strong uh, message that it passes out there to the people that maybe never watched this video, because believe me, there are pre people who never watched this video. There are people who have never seen such activities happening in, in the parliament, okay? If you look at the African parliament, let's talk about Kenyan parliament and also South African parliament, same to Ghana parliament. It is always chaos, funny, entertaining, and also it gives us sometimes shame to the international because just imagine the members of parliament who are supposed to be leading as an example to the people who elected them to serve them in the parliament fighting in the parliament exchanging words i think our african parliaments should change their tactics of uh, conducting themselves in the parliament even if you disagree in an issue the parliament i don't think people should exchange blows fighting uh, pointing fingers and this is so shameful now the EFF members of parliament as we just watched were kicked out of the parliament for heckling and pointing fingers to the former president Zuma the president of South Africa and the deputy speaker they might be right on the other hand but it is wrong to point fingers at the president uh, because Zuma was the president of South Africa by then and also pointing fingers at the speaker who is conducting the proceedings, okay? Okay, I don't know what to say about the video that you've just watched. Do you think this video is so entertaining? Do you think this video is so shaming? Do you think this, this is the image of our African parliament? And what can we do as Africans to change the look of our parliaments, to change the behaviors of our parliaments? Because this is running now out of hand. Just imagine, an African parliament, the members of parliament who are elected to go serve the people, 
are fighting, exchanging blows in the parliament. And I've seen this in the Kenyan parliament, Ghanaian parliament, where members of parliament fight physically, exchange blows, t-shirts are torn apart just because they can't agree in an issue. It is so bad, by the way. I think people are grown up and don't need to fight for an issue. If it is no, let's stand for a no. And if it's yes, let's stand for a yes. Because I don't think fighting will solve anything or fighting will give a solution to something that needed maybe numbers in the parliament to be, to be passed, to become a law. So I don't think fighting in the parliament is a solution to issues that are raised before the members of parliament. That's just my concern as, a, as an African. I'm speaking generally to all the African parliaments. This is just an example of, an, of the African parliaments that always behave like this in a parliament. Okay? Imagine you are being watched by people who call you honorables. Then we see you guys exchanging blows in the parliament, fighting each other. Okay? And it doesn't work well, by the way. It doesn't picture any well. And therefore, African members of parliament need to change their way of conducting themselves in the parliament because the parliament is a room where laws governing a country are made okay and you are also mandated to make laws that governs the, the country your country okay so therefore if you mess up you are misleading your country so therefore let's just conduct ourselves in an honorable way when we are in the parliament than pointing fingers, fighting at each, at each other, exchanging blows like this parliament here, okay? Fighting and exchanging blows in the parliament is not good. It's not, it's, it is not any good. So guys, uh, I don't know what you think about these uh, behaviors that we always see in our African parliaments where our members of parliament fight physically in the in the parliament even exchanging very heavy words in front of the speaker and in front of maybe the president and other honorable members what do you think about that maybe let me see or hear from you in the comment section and let me know what you think about such behaviors can we do something to change such behaviors in the parliament or is it that that is the African way of making proceedings or making laws in the parliament. I don't know. Let me see you in my, in the comment sections. And if you were, if you are watching us for the first time, please remember to leave a comment and also hit on that notification bell in order to be notified anytime we drop such a new video for you to watch. Please, guys, thank for your support, and I'm always here to serve your interest. We love you so much and we love Africa. Remember that Africa is black and we are black. Therefore, we are Africans and we need to love each other, support each other and always stand in for one another because the unity of Africans is the unity of the black people. Let's all Africans all over the, all over the world unite. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, Caribbean, from USA, from Jamaica, let's unite together as, and be one because we are always one and let's make Africa proud. Remember, Africa is our motherland and we, we have to defend and protect our continent with all means. Guys, I love you so much and let's meet again in my next video.